Alright. Okay. They probably taste alright. I mean, they're like lobsters, right? Except gross bugs who live underground. I so also gross. haven't eaten in quite a while, so I suppose I will also take one to... Well, I don't like other people watching me eat. It's okay, we won't... <laughs> well, I'll turn around, don't worry, it's fine. We're a very accommodating party. That's very kind of you, but it can wait until later. You can just, like, have a drumstick for now. Shall As you continue uh, down the burrowed out pathway, you can hear the sounds of beetles getting louder. It sounds like there was more of them, perhaps bigger ones. You should look out up there. There were traps mentioned by one of those nefarious wizards. But they're nefarious. How can you trust them? Can I see they were right about the beetles. I guess. Can I see further than one square ahead using bright light and a torch? The glowy bit gives you two squares. I'm gonna step on the traps. <laughs> Does any, that's a good question. Does anybody have like dungeoneering or detect anything? Nope. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Wait, I've, I've got, got it. Perception. I'm going. I've got keen senses career. advantage on perception checks. I I have detect magic. That's an option. Do you detect any magic? <laughs> With that. Um, well, I'd have to cast a spell first. I am going to intimidate the traps so that they don't <laughs> oops <laughs> so that they don't go off when we go over them brazenly. Ella, use yes. your keen elf senses to perceive. Alright, I, I this intersection looks suspicious. I am perceiving. What do your elf eyes see? What do my elf eyes see, Dungeon Okay. Master? Um so with a result of twenty, pretty good. Um you do not see anything that looks like a trap around you. Oh man, that must be a high level trap then. You know, there, there, there are a... like there are sort of little holes in the walls everywhere that you see like very small sort of, you know, just ordinary beetles you know, crawling into and out of, but they just seem like you know, beetle tunnels. Nothing that you know, arrows are gonna fly out of or anything like that. Mm. That's exactly what a trap that's designer a would do. That's a suspicious description. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this floor certainly doesn't look like it'll turn into a lava pit either. These tiles are certainly decorative. <laughs> the patterns on this, them right. safely. This tunnel this, looks kind of like a butt. What's going on here? This pressure plate looks that completely... does not look like a butt at <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's three paths, so uh, me and Pala will take the north nope, one. Nope, Rockmeat's no. already wrong. You got it wrong. <laughs> you, you've done it now. <laughs> Look, he's did, a student, did, you have to help him along. Did you want to come with me? Lesson he's one, never, ever, ever, ever split the party, ever, for any reason. Ever. Ever. That is lesson one, Rockmeats. We talked about this. Except but, when I want to take a nap. No, but you have but a rumbling the, sound. Uh -oh. The party was uh, the party was yesterday. Quick, which, which what, way? What do your uh, elf ears? What do your elf ears hear? Um, all right. Can if I roll perception, can I figure out which direction the rumbling is coming from? Yeah, yeah. Where's it coming from? Uh, okay, so the rumbling appears to be coming from this wall, this wall, oh God. Uh. and this wall. Oh dear. Uh, I didn't. I, oh oh okay. no. All right, we should get out of this. Okay, uh, this Kit, you are the executive. Bad. You're the executive decision maker. Which direction do we go in? Um, retreat a little bit. Retreat. Right. Retreat sounds way. good. See what the rumble comes from. Somebody throw a rock at one of these. Suddenly, Joey picks up rock meats. Suddenly. Oh no! Suddenly. suddenly. Um, the the small holes in the wall give way to larger holes in the wall. And arrows as come out. <laughs> No, as several uh, larger beetles. Oh no! Oh man! These beetles are much bigger. Come out of the walls. Beetles. Gross. Gross. Oh no! I hit them well, all. The, with my these fists. beetles are are closer to about four and a half to five feet oh. long, and they appear to be covered with crackling electrical energy. Oh, great. So, the, the shock beetles. 
have, have popped out of the walls, having detected some intruders in their some non-beetles in their tunnels. Only beetles are permitted in Beetle Cave. <laughs> and they they, they click their mandibles at you menacingly. If, if I'd known it was called Beetle Cave, I wouldn't have come in. That's very rude. Well, we're here now. We're here now. We already wiped our shoes. <laughs> uh, I guess Joey Adam took off his shoes. Joey's? It's Joey. my turn. I'm not going to waste yeah. a spell on these suckers. So, because I don't know if they're just going to drop in three hit points. Oh. Yet. These, these look a lot bigger and just tougher than the fire beetles do. Big you don't know how stuff. much tougher, but definitely tougher. Are I they... Got a, I got a spell for them. M-U-S-L-E. Are they tough enough to withstand a 17 to AC? Uh, not quite. That is a hit. All right. 2d6 plus 5. 11 damage to this first beetle that I'm standing right next to. Oh, the, the one that's uh, one space north of you? Yeah, that one. All right. What happened? 11 damage has been... That damaged all of them. What? <laughs> that's not supposed to happen, Vol 20. <laughs> Good that's job, not supposed Joey. to happen. You hit it with okay. such force that <laughs> they are electric, so I disrupt. I can... You got this. Yeah. You see, I disrupted the circuit, so now these electro beetles are all wacky. Reverse the ion polarity. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, overcharge the tachyon particles. Let's see if I can make it. The tachyon particles like okay, great. Bucks. Okay. <laughs> so that was a little more work than I was hoping, but you have dealt eleven damage to the beetle as you strike it with your powerful axe. Does he die? No. Well, Ooh. then I'm gonna do it again, then. 23 day C, which hits. 23 is good. And... Oop. For 13 damage. Okay. So that's 23 damage total to the beetle to the north. Alright, it's, uh... It's looking pretty roughed up. Oh no, it's tough. <laughs> I've accidentally revealed myself to be a threat to them. <laughs> I hope I don't die. Hi, Shock Beetles. Uh, I was just joking about those axe wounds earlier. We're cool. Joey, use I... your giant minotaur body to protect us from the beetles. <laughs> I don't have okay. a choice. We trust in you, Joey. So, uh, Please do this, your best. <laughs> this beetle up here you're going to see is going to sort of burrow back into the wall. Uh oh Pop out over here. Oh, great. Goodness oh. gracious. The, the beetle you've been fighting is focused on you, Joey, but the beetles next to it around the corner are also going to uh, go back into the wall. This one uh will appear here. And this one is sort of halfway sticking out of the wall. <laughs> uh, over there. <laughs> So it telefrags and, itself and dies instantly, right? No, oh. no, because uh, they they actually um, they they begin to crackle and glow with electrical energy, and bolts of lightning arc between them. In fact, no. uh, from this shock oh, beetle. Oh no! I was right about the circuit thing. This is bad. To that one. <laughs> oh no! And a an arc of lightning uh, goes, uh, you know goes through and will perhaps hit Rock Meats and Joey. So let's roll for the Volt and Bolts. Okay, so that's a 12. I guess I roll separately to hit for each of you. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so 12 against Rock Meats and 9 against Ooh, Joey. That's not gonna do it. Nope. Nope, you're good? I absorb yep. that uh, lightning. It powers me Okay. Up. The North and South Shock Beetles attempt to zap Joey and Pala. No. So first... Why am I in the crossfire? Joey, that's a nope. critical hit. Oh, yes it is. Damn. I so that'll, that'll be 14 lightning damage. Yes, it will be. And let's see about Pala. Uh, does a 13 hit your AC? Nope. Okay. Oh my uh, Joey, give me a constitution save. Oh my gosh, a constitution save. Okay, here yes. it comes. Oh, 17. 
Okay, success. You are not stunned by the lightning. Just horribly Just horribly, horribly burned. <laughs> Just awful. Okay, so they, they discharge their powerful electricity at you, but hey you guys. manage to quickly dodge out of the way. Guys, guys. Yeah. If, uh, if Joey had failed the constitution save, mm-hmm. could we say that he was going into shock? Nope, we couldn't say that. That's a terrible thing to say. And make an additional attack against <laughs> Rockets. <laughs> Somehow, where did this extra bolt of lightning come from? Uh, you? it's your turn. Oh. Hmm, well, I'm troubled that we have to resort to violence, but I suppose that we must, so I'm going to cast Magic Missile on the one nearest to me. With, by the way, I mean the one directly in front of me. I'm actually surprised you took any offensive spells. Plus intelligence. Hold a hit with a magic missile. <laughs> there you 17. go. Seventeen. Seventeen will hit. Seventeen will hit. That's free damage as the magic missile bolts out from her claws to this creature. All right. You have damaged the shock field. The missile strikes its carapace and dents it slightly. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, not at the moment, though. No. Keep going. All right. Back up to... Hello. I'm going to attack the same one that our excellent new friend has just attacked. Okay. Uh, Do more it's than... It's very kind again. of you to refer to me as your friend. I'm touched. Yes. Yeah, I did that earlier to find out if you were slimy. You weren't, though. That's not what I meant, but I understand your meaning, and I think it is still significant. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice. I, Pal, I, I'm, I'm significant. <laughs> no, no, we'll do vocabulary later. It's significant. But, by the way, I decided not to use the B potion oh, here. Oh, no. Oh, darn. Uh-oh. All right, that is not a hit. <laughs> Oh my god, that's not the right numbers. But both of those will hit anyway. I'm falling apart, but both of those will hit anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is just a measly d6 of damage. There it is. Alright. Take another little chunk out of the shock beetle's carapace. The, the fallen off bit you know, crackles with energy for a while before it dissipates. Oh, well, I'm gonna yeah. go here. And I'm going to punch this dude at least once. Alright, that is that is one punch. Great damage. Alright. That is enough to finish it off. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't roll for that other attack, because I'm going to hit that guy. And Looks I'm going to do nine damage. Make a ton punch. And then I'm gonna flurry. I'm gonna attack again, and I'm probably gonna eleven miss. is not. Eleven is not. Oh well, it, unfortunately. That's what I'm gonna do with my turn. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack this guy because he's making me nervous with how close he is. With both of my fists. Okay, uh, ten will miss, fourteen will hit. Punch him, but just a little bit. Five damage. Alright, striking at his electro horn, you break off the tip and it seems a little disappointed. <laughs> oh man, my electro horn. That's my what you get. <laughs> That's a very powerful looking horn, but now it's sort of beat up looking. That's what oh. the punk beetles get. Right. You should be kinder to strangers. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Alright, moving on to Joey. This one beetle, you said it was this one here. You said it was half in and half out? Yeah. I want to... So you, you can attack it, is sort of the... I don't want to attack it. Attack. This yeah. this cave wall is full of holes and probably unstable. I want to attack the cave wall and see if I can crush that beetle in the debris as it collapses in on it. Okay. Let's see if I can... Do you want me to roll like a strength check to try and beat down that wall yeah, this or just is, this... attack? This is basically just an application of brute force. I'm gonna so brute force it. So I guess I'll use my athletics, because this is hyper-athletic. That, that seems like a good thing to roll. 
21 to just beat the wall down to make it cave in on this stupid beetle. Okay, you do manage to, uh, just by slamming into the wall there, mm-hmm. make, uh, you know, the that bit of the wall sort of, you know, shake up. And so, um, you know, it, it is, you know, some some of the, the just the dirt from its mm-hmm. tunnel does fall on top of it. And that's going to that's gonna keep it from really moving anywhere. Um, but it doesn't seem to really hurt the people that much. But it is stuck now. But that's fine, because now we can tell where it's going to zap. And I don't want to be in between it and this one. So I'm going to... Where do you want to be? I'm going to use my move action to say, Hi, Kit. I'm going to move you out of the way slightly. Oh no, Um, now I've done it. I accidentally... There we go. Now I'm going to move down here and stand next to my friend. That's me around like a... I, gen- I gently, you. I gently picked you up Hello. and moved you down out of the way. Um, you are you are attacked by the beetles. That's as okay. You, Opportunity as attack. Passed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, go for it. Let's get some of those. Nope. Uh, um, nope. That's a fifteen. To no, hit? not at all. Wow. Pretty good. I'm and a thirteen to hit. I'm too buff for that. Wow. Well, all right. You managed to evade. The the electro horde, and I end beetles. my turn. All right, it is now the beetles' turn. Turn of the beetles. Okay. So this this beetle up here is stuck in the wall, and he's you can see some of his little legs just sort of flailing <laughs> about it. He's trying to oh. tunnel and you know loosen the gravel enough for him to free himself. But in the meantime. Um, this beetle is going to, um, these two beetles are going to generate an arc of electricity aimed at Kit. Uh, Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Yeah. Alright, that's 13 lightning damage. Oh my god. And give me a con save. That's it. Oh wow. Uh, Success! Super good. All right, and then the the stuck beetle can you know can't really move around too much, but can sort of poke its horn in Pala's general direction. Oh, poke! That is a fourteen to hit. Nope. Nope. Okay, so it's sort of poking and flailing, but because it's stuck, it's pretty easy for you to just kind of take one step back, and then then you're good. I just make a really... weird face at it. Yeah. Is that your normal face? What? Oh, what? wow. Whoa, Rocket What's Beast. with the sass? We're fighting big bugs That's here. Very the, the stuck beetle is taken aback by your <laughs> sass. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I may be a beetle trying to kill you, but I would never say something like that. Well, I don't want to waste any of my more powerful spells on these creatures in case there's something more dangerous deeper in. But the only spell I have, though, that can really hurt people at level 1 is magic missiles, so I suppose I'll do that again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Not so good. Not so good. I probably don't have all my uh, numbers in beetle... the right place, but I can wait until later. Beetle swiftly deflects your missile with its electro horn. Is the AC... it's for the best. <laughs> if you're not adding your proficiency bonus, you should get two more to that. No, I wasn't adding my proficiency bonus, so that would be extra two. That's a twelve. Yes. yes I... All right, that is a hit. It attempts oh, to deflect wow. it, but it turns out that that's a bad idea with magic missiles because <laughs> then it just hits you in the horn. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, my horn! All right, oh, wow. that's two. two. To the two one uh, north of you. The one north of me. Uh, okay. All right, the damage is dealt. Anything else? Uh, not that I can think of now. She's gathering power to explode. Like. Being mm-hmm. zapped has made me angry, so I will use one of my rages. <laughs> I don't sound like that. No, <laughs> no but I do. How rude. Rage. But, but I'm 
going to keep attacking this same opponent. Oh, dang. That is a...